But back to, yeah, you get to take all kinds of fluids and everything through yeah, the airport. Yeah, I got fluids. So, oh no, yeah, so what I was going to say, the, uh, yeah, I take them through the airport, no problem, and then Derek has one thing of toothpaste, and they pull them into secondary or whatever, and it happens so often. Well, the the one guy at TSA know. said, yeah, they said, your like, name. your name's on a list. I made a, I, it's, who cares, it's not worth talking about, but. I thought he meant, like, they, your last name's Acosta, and that sounds. I, I honestly, okay, so it happened years ago, it was like 10 years ago, when all that Osama shit was going on, and they yeah. said, like, we need extra identification from you, and I was making jokes, like, ha, me and not them, and the guy's like, yeah, your name's on a list, and I thought, like, is it, like, Acosta, the name, Ac anybody with the name Acosta, is it specifically Derek Acosta right. is on some list? But then I saw some yeah. article later on about how this woman had, like, a three-year-old son, and his name was on a no-fly list. Like, Whoa. Thomas oh Peters can't fly. What a and, shitty kid, I And guess. she was <laughs> like, well, he's my three-year-old. What did he do? And they're like, I'm not telling you. His name's on the list. What the that, fuck? I don't know what he did. His name's on the list. He can't fly. And that started making me think, like, Nervous, like. was it, like, specifically me? Like, was yeah, it? Yeah. Was it Derek D. Acosta or just put like, on some? I don't know. It's like Brazil shit, just randomly generated. In, here, just well, it. here's the thing. Or maybe too. they were like, "You messed with people at a Costco once." Yeah, I don't want to go <laughs> into it, but like, uh, I I really wondered, like, did, is Mega sixty four on some? Like, is the government aware of Mega sixty four because of some of the stuff hmm. we've done or no, put online? We're all, or they're all innocent. I had a teacher in high school once uh, who said that he was involved with, like, political activism in the 70s. And, like, Secret Service agents came to his dorm room and pulled him out for, like, an interrogation. And they had this oh. whole file on him, like, these are photos of you on campus. This Whoa. is who you've been associating with. We have you go to these meetings. We want to talk to you about the stuff you've been doing on campus. And he told me in high school. I was in ninth grade. He's like, they did this to me 30 years ago. So don't think they are not doing this anymore. Because technology is better oh, yeah. now, and right. they are more secretive it's now than they were back then. Yeah, but you know what's interesting? With like back to the name thing, if isn't like with like a, like a an assassin, you know, like John Wilkes Booth, or you know, uh, fucking another one. I can't think of his names right now. Courtney Love. Courtney Love. No, but I'm saying like it's always the <laughs> it's all the whole name. It's their, their whole name. Yeah. So wouldn't they do that for the no fly list? Like have the person's middle that name. That way you can't like confuse them with somebody else. Like. I don't know. Maybe there's someone with the same middle name as you, too, on some no-fly list. I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe it was just D. I, I, I fucking have no idea. Luckily, though, that has kind of died down in the past yeah. few years. I don't I don't really experience that so much anymore. Every once in a while, we can leave our shoes on now, too. And just, yeah. Yeah, uh -oh. dude. Right through. And we'll be going. I got now. to wear my belt on the plane. Dude, Damn. Hey, did I ever talk about what happened to me in Seattle? Um, oh, oh, you met Tony Hawk and coughed on him. No, that was San Francisco. <laughs> when no, that was Seattle, wasn't it? No, wasn't that a, during PAX? No, it was during GDC. It was? It was oh. during GDC. It does. Yeah, anyways. Uh, okay, real quick, though. Not yeah. to cut you off, but okay. somebody in the chat just said this. They said, it's because you're brown, Derek. And legitimately, for half a second, that thought went through my mind. But how would they know that if they've never met me? Like, what... That's well, what I thought. Know. How would they know, they know that? How, how do they look at my name? Well, I guess you could look Acosta. at the name Acosta. They know it all. I, I, don't, I don't know. I re it really makes me wonder. I don't, is it something specific to me? I don't know. Anyway, sorry, Sean. No, it's fine. I was in Seattle, and uh, I was flying home on uh, Memorial Day? Labor Day. What was the one recently? Labor Day? I was flying home. I have never seen the airport security line longer. It was thousands of people. They knew something. You it did. was so bad. It was all only in one gate with one machine, and it was like, Ooh. dude, my flight's an hour and a half. I don't think I can make this. Like, Worst I'm talking case. like, I'm talking like this is like five hour line that we're talking about, and I don't know what the fuck happened, but it was like, all right, whatever. And everyone started walking through security. They just turned the machines off? They basically off. just turned them off. You walked through with all your stuff on, but they didn't even care for like, the beep. And like, <laughs> I just walked on through and like, I was sitting in my terminal like five minutes later. And it's like, <laughs> what That's the funny. fuck? I would have been the guy yeah, who like, uh, you sure you don't want to scan me? <laughs> I would feel better if you scanned me. I mean, me. like I had, I emptied <laughs> my pockets. I'm not saying I have anything. Maybe. In fact, you're probably going to find out I don't, but you should scan you me. You should scan me. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> couldn't believe like, wait, so... It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> it's over this. Like yeah, anyway. it's it, it, security is of utmost importance until it's really busy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, then, and then they can't pay for overtime. So like, all right, let's just uh, you just get through it. Yeah, uh, there was, there, oh. that that's a good story, and that story kind of makes me feel like wow, that 
You know, I would be nervous in an airport if something out of protocol like that happened. Yeah. But nothing will ever top being on American Airlines and the pilot comes on. Just want to let everybody know we're experiencing some technical difficulties with the plane. Uh, We're going to try to get it up in the air. But if anybody wants to switch flights, just let a flight attendant know and we'll accommodate you. (laughs) <laughs> it's up it's up to me if i should get off this plane yeah, that's not i, I want to hear right from now. an expert on this uh, you tell me if the plane's gonna be safe i'll stay on yeah you let me know if i need to get on another plane remember that one time we flew to, is this the same flight when we were going to uh to vegas and the guy was like hey there's gonna be severe turbulence on this flight <laughs> this is something different severe turbulence if you just want to do the drive I get it. It was seriously like that. Like, what? Get it? And like, it was like, <laughs> I do remember that. It was, oh. I do remember that. But in my mind, I was thinking it's an hour flight. I'll risk it. Yeah. I thought Be- the same thing. Because in my mind, it's like an hour is not long enough for me to die in an airplane. Yeah. But they yeah. said the captain came out to like the place, like, like not the lobby. What do you call that? The, the terminal. The, the terminal. Yeah. We weren't even on the plane yet. Oh, when he's like, shit. Hey, just so you know, I'm going to, I'm going to fly this plane there. I think we're going to get there on, okay? But I can't really tell you. Don't say think. Yeah. Uh, and you guys th- got that flight coming up. Uh, where are we flying? We to? are going to be oh, at yeah. Sabacon. Oh, yeah, we're going to yeah. Vegas. Las Vegas. We're going to Vegas the week after game days. We will That's be right. at Sabacon in Vegas. So if you're in Vegas, official announcement. join us. Um, the quickest that I ever made it through security ever were two times. One was the same thing. I was flying to, I actually, I think it was Vegas. And it was early in the morning and security was so slammed. They went, all right, who's on the, the earliest flight is this Vegas flight. Who's on that flight? And everyone raised their hand. Yeah, just come through. And we all just walked through. So that was one. <laughs> okay. They were like, this early is, in the morning this, to be a terrorist. This is the, yeah, this, this is the, you know, whatever. This is the earliest flight. Just come on through. So that was one. And then, um. Bob's got to warm up. So there's no way it could go off on <laughs> yeah. this flight. You're good. And then, um. The second was actually when it, this was, this is like one of those things that's like a little thing that is, you have nightmares about this, but when I didn't bring any form of ID to the airport, what? Oh yeah, I, 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 I needed to make copies of my ID that's and stuff right. for, for something that week. And I never put it back in my wallet. So I showed up to the, to the airport and they're like, here, okay, here's your boarding pass. And it was like, okay, can you get your ID? And I'm going like, I don't, I have no ID. Like I, I, just, I was up at the podium and the, they're like, are you serious? And it's like, I, I don't. And, and I thought, well, I guess that's that. And they were like, no, um, you really don't have any, do you have anything we could look at? And I had like, you know, uh, you know, Costco card, which actually saved me as a photo. It did have my photo. And then, uh, you know, showed them and they were like, if you have like that and like a couple credit cards, we we'll, we can run with that. And I showed him that, and they were like, cool. But we basically have to watch you like a hawk. We'll let you on, but that's what we have to do. Okay. And all they did was, I had a personal, like, personal security. And they cut me through everything to the gate. And it was like... Should I just always forget my ID? <laughs> yeah, because we, excellent. I got we chauffeur. Didn't, You're the we didn't know. There. Yeah, they cut me through every level of everything. That's they, true. They we, were like, we all right, no, come with us. We had no idea what you forgot happening? your idea, which yeah. is, Rocco, like nightmare scenario yeah, level 11. Was, yeah. And you were at the gate before we all got out of security and was like, how the fuck did that happen? He was behind yeah. us. Uh, there was somebody at PAX once that uh, they were doing something with their ID near our booth and lost it. Like they, oh. uh, they lost theirs. It's someone we know, Ultra Kleistron, remember? Oh yeah. yeah. And, uh, and he lost his ID and had to fly. Like he did something at our booth, some stunt where his, he left his ID and then flew home. And then, so we found out later, it was like, damn, did he not, was he not able to fly home? And he told me the same thing. He was like, dude, they walked me through everything. Like oh. they watched me like a hawk and had security follow me through everything. Escort. But it's like, but that sounds great. Yeah, like like a personal. Yeah, somebody escorts you through. You all know of what? It, so anyway. I'm gonna try that. Uh, <laughs> so everyone, if you're that flying, sounds, just that don't sounds bring nice to me. Yes. It's, hey, I'm gonna show up with my Costco they, card. Seriously, they didn't make me like take shit out. They didn't do Whoa. anything. Like, it oh, was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just go through everything. I yeah. I think same results, Derek. You're gonna have a great time. Yeah, I got a Costco <laughs> card. Do they accept Sam's Club? <laughs> <laughs>